its distant relative who's just about taking it up from mirror black magic gleam on the near side and here comes mark of distinction and frank editori to come and storm into the lead on the near side mark of distinction taking it up now as they race towards the line it's mark of distinction that's gonna win it from mirror black at the line mark of distinction's the winner mirror black is second third outside drum taps now the leader from arcadian heights it's drum taps by a length and a half from arcadian heights Racing into the final furlong and drum taps going away from Arcadian Heights with Torshaw third as they race up towards the line. Drum taps holding Arcadian Heights and drum taps wins the gold cup. Drum taps is the winner. Arcadian Heights is second. Torshaw is third for Enderley. Drum taps from Assessor as they race to the furlong pole. The 1992 winner drum taps from Assessor on the far side. Torshaw back in third. Drum taps opening up by two lanes now from Assessor. Drum Taps is going to complete the double and win the Gold Cup in successive years as they race to the line. Drum Taps is the winner of Assessor in second and two. And Master Charlie and Frankie de Tori coming with a run as they come to the final furlong. It's Deraria and Master Charlie from Hazen to Ad into the last half furlong. And Deraria headed now by Master Charlie and Hazen to Ad as they run up towards the line. Hasten to add, battling on well on the far side, but Master Charlie just beats him. Master Charlie hasten to add to Rary. Locks on, clear of the remainder. He simply hasn't moved a muscle on this mare. Brighton Lad has gone into second place ahead of Westman, but it's locks on all the way as they race up towards the line. The crowd giving her a tremendous cheer. It's a beautiful, sweet performance. This locks on, rocks home the easy winner. Brighton Lad is second, and Westman is third. Gold on the near side, Segovia putting in a good run. Phantom Gold just about the leader as they come down towards the furlong pole. Chalanzi has been switched to the outside. Chalanzi under Michael Canan coming to challenge Phantom Gold. It's Phantom Gold of Chalanzi as they race up towards the line. The Royal, the hats go in the air, and it's a royal triumph. But Phantom Gold has won it from Chalanzi. Takes the advantage now. It's Mubij and Lucky Lionel from on the far side, Cayman Kai. Mubij, Lucky Lionel together, Cayman Kai on the far side, putting in quite a good run just up just in behind him as first fiddler. But as they race up towards the line, it's Lucky Lionel who's storming away now, and it's going to be another by Frankie de Tori as they come to the line. Lucky Lionel wins it from Cayman Kai and Mubij. Actual is Che and Spirit and then Tanami. Lake Coniston on the near side, so factual on the far side, making a little bit of ground is West Ham Prince, but it's Lake. Coniston on the near side, under pressure now. So factual over on the far side. Lake Coniston has the advantage from So Factual as they race up towards the line. It's Lake Coniston from So Factual and at the line. It's very close between the two. So Factual and Lake Coniston. So Factual has got up to beat. Strong race and Allied Forces now has just about taken it up from Duamis with Ally Royal, who's improving all the time under a strong ride. But it's Allied Forces from Centre Stalls as they race up towards the line. Allied Forces and Centre Stalls, it's very close between them. Allied Forces just wins it from Centre From Air Express, Delamis moved into third. But it's Starborough holding them all as they race into the closing stages. And Starborough's going to win the St James's Palace Stakes, making all the running from Air Express in second and up the line. Starborough's the winner in Air Express is second. Delamis is third. Sorry, Cape Ferdy and John Reed. They're clear of in third place Wales as they run up towards the line and it's Central Park with his head in front. He's fighting the filly off as they come to the line. Central Park and Frankie de Tory win from Cape Verde. Wales is third. High clear. Then back in third place is Saros Pearl as they come to the final follow and High Clear goes on. High Clear from Torn. It's Frankie de Tory's fourth winner of the meeting as Heritage. Heritage it is from Torn. Heritage the winner for the High Clear Racing. Ab on the outside, ranges up, grabs the lead, and in the twinkling of an eye, it's Frankie de Tory and Intercab who have cleared away, and Intercab's going to win the Queen Dan by a street. Intercab being punched out, goes on to win by the best part of six lengths, among men second, tight third. Side with Miss Barr, over on the far side, Leaspia, and Plan B and Frankie de Tory bursting through now in the shape Mohammed Colors from Pantar finishing well, but
Plan B beats Panta, the Lucayan Indian Caribbean. Belong trying to go with her, they're followed by Damala She Wolf and then Little Movie Star, but she's good, Bindalao. Look at her length and now she's two in front. Pimbalong trying hard to go with her, but this is a real good filly for Mick Janet. Bindalao goes on to win the Queen Mary. Sprint with them. Further back, Rambling Rose is battling on from Star Begonia. Inside the final furlong, though, it's the Oaks runner up, Bar, who's two in front. Star Begonia battling well, so too is Rambling Rose, but they're not going to catch Bar. She's far too classy and races away with the Ribblesdale. Bar goes on to win by three. Tara Fulga Dolphin ranges up now to throw out the challenge to double trigger on the far side. Three cheers coming there on the near side as well. Three parts of a furlong to go in the Gold Cup. Cape Tara strikes the lead. Double triggers fighting back. He's coming back at him hard. They race towards the line, but Cape Tara's going to win the Gold Cup. Rails and over on the far side, Dashiba. Dashiba, Auction House and Rapsilis between the two. It's going to be a tremendous battle between these three as they run up towards the line. Rapsilis with his head just in front. Compton Admiral's finishing like a train. Rapsilis, Compton Admiral to Shaft and Star, beaten on Tuesday. Only three days later has come to take this one for Frankie de Tory. Yorkshire's running on in second and further flight and Lord Jim third and fourth. But as they run up towards the line, Dufton Star is going to hold on for Frankie de Tory. Inside the final fellow, Frankie de Tory goes on on high and mighty from Far Cry on the far side. Western Chief and Bennett are running on. Eminence Greece is not going to win anything. And as they go to the last 50 yards, high and mighty and Frankie de Tory run on. As now by Alabac and Fairy Queen, the near side, almost three in line with a half a furlong left to go. It's Samoa the far side. Fairy Queen now called on for a lead up and is starting to lunge. And Fairy Queen picks up Samoa close home and gets up for a great win in the Ribblesdale. Fairy Queen the winner. Lord Bacal behind them is getting a run now. It's a victory day on the near side and Warm Heart has settled out to fight it out from Asanova. On the far side, Warm Heart just doing a little bit the better. And Warm Heart gets up the win the Norfolk from victory day. Furlong and they're running erratically. Buda Farbeck finding a bit more on the far side here for Frankie as Buda two links in front of his cannon coming away near the line. Buda Farbeck wins the end with the seventh second. His fantastic light has swept into the lead with a hundred to go. And fantastic light. He's killed them for speed at the end. Fantastic light goes on to win the Prince of Wales and Stakes by two and a half lengths. Followed by Tough Speed who can't find much more. It's Mick Canan who's propelled this one into the lead. Big future on the far side. Surprise encounter. Surprise encounter's got up to beat them all. Surprise encounter's won the hunt. And it's Parasol who's gone on. Monica of the Glens running on. Seba not got much room. Doc Holiday on the near side as they run up towards the line. Seba's finishing very strongly and it's just going to get up. Seba just wins it from Parasol. By the final furlong though, Grandira takes it up. Grandira's gone two lengths, three lengths in front now, and Frankie's going to put a winner on the board here as Grandira goes on to win the Prince of Wales and stakes by five lengths. Trying hard to reel him in with Mr. Dinos. Further back in the field, Black Sam Bellamy. It's Mamoul trying to hold on from Ancestor and Mr. Dinos. It's Mamoul just in front with 20 yards left to go. Mamoul punched out, is just going to get there. Another one for Frankie. Right approach, then Tillerman. Further back then is Gateman. Hawkwing is dropping right away, but it's due by destination in the Godolphin colours. Two or three lengths clear and striding right away. He's back due by destination. The horse who beat Rock of Gibraltar, and he canters home with the Queen Anne. And looms up on the outside, grabs the lead now from Sheik, who's now being ridden along, not responding though. A gap in the field and the Sharp Law Venture, but have a look at Holder Ransom, Frankie Dottori careering away with the first. It's uh, Holder Ransom is going to win the Sandringham Stakes very easily. Going to be very tight for second. Here's Capriccio, Fayer Jag, Mitchum getting through as well, and Racio right over on the far side for Frankie Dottori flashing home. Fayer Jag gets the lead though in the centre. Racio is flying, but Fayer Jag and Racio, Racio might have just got there from Fayer Jag. Pulled on for an effort, followed by six perfections. She hasn't picked up the filly. Soviet Song took the lead though with 100 yards left to go. Here comes Refuse to bend on the far side. 
Soviet song being grabbed by Refuse to Bend. It's a ding dong struggle, and Refuse to Bend got up for Frankie. Up to take the lead now, cartography going with him, and now for Godolphin down the outside is Khalif. Khalif now sprints into the lead with 100 yards left to go. It's Khalif who's going to win at Boylaskin. Some would say 12 months. But Rangers up now to Sahul. They settle down to fight it out, followed then by New Morning. Sahul on the inside refuses to give in. Punctilious on the outside gets ahead in front now. New morning battling on and Quiff very late, but Punctilius is now drawing away. Punctilius goes on to make amends for Epsom. Arasim, they've kicked away from Mr. Dinos, who won't be winning inside the final furlong. Frankie produces Papano on the inside. Papano races to the lead from Westerner, who's trying to go with him, but Papino's gold cup. Papino goes on to win it for Frankie Dottori and Godolphin. As they've got a furlong and a half left to go, Duke of Venice careering away. It's all over here as Duke of Venice, uh, Frankie Dottori, is going to go on and score by four or five lengths. Fifth winner on the board for Godolphin. Duke of Venice wins easily. Two miles west is second. Three in front now. Persian Majesty and High Accolade fighting it out. But here's another winner on the board for Frankie Dottori and Godolphin as Doyen comes away to win the Hardwick by six or seven lengths. High Accolade will get second. Third Persian Majesty followed by Song Lark System. Oh, and it's the two Jeremy Nasida horses on the near side. Santa Camillo shakes off Bahama Mama. Behind them a Scarlet Runner. But streaking away as they run to the line is Santa Camillo. Camillo backed as if there was no settling and a winner on the board for Frankie Dottori. Second there. Then on the near side, Turtle Bowl followed by Red Evie, but Jeremy over on the far side is just a leader, Ramonti, and now George Washington starting to hit his stride as they race up towards the line now, stretched across the track, Ramonti. ...to find his stride, but still with four lengths to make up, Campanola just under a cute ride from the front here, from Frankie Dottori, top lock, then Conduits blasting down the outside, Campanola just suddenly needs the line, but he'll find it, Campanola just makes it all. By two and a half lengths, Flame of Gibraltar is trying trying hard in second place, but some sun appearing from behind the clouds for Godolphin here. And Flying Cloud wins the Ribblesdale like a good filly. In second place, Flame of Gibraltar. Opponent and Invisible Man on the far side for Godolphin and Frankie Dottori. And it's Invisible Man that strikes on. Riggins is absolutely flying. Invisible Man from Riggins as they race to the line. And Invisible Man holds on from Riggins. In Has gone for home and quickly seals the Ribblesdale. Elder Lil's moving through into second from a long way back. But Hibayeb is going to be an impressive winner. Scooting clear to win by three lengths for Frankie Dottori and Saeed Bin Saroor. Rosso, followed by at first sight, Green Moon. Buzzword is staying on inside the final furlong. Frankie Dottori leads the way on Monterosso. And this big striding colt is going to see them off in style. Monterosso wins the King Edward the Seventh from his second Arctic Cosmos. You think is chased all the while by Rewilding, who stays well inside the last. So you think is all out. Here comes Rewilding. Rewilding on the stand side and Frankie Dottori, he's running down the Aussie champ and Rewilding gets up to win the French Gulf of Naples. Opinion poll runs on well, then Sadler's Rock, fame and glory is beat inside the final furlong. Opinion poll and Colour Vision, Barcelona on the near side of Dottori and Dottori and Colour Vision is just in front. Colour Vision will win the Gold Cup. A wall of horses, Cruc Rialta, Thayer coming through strongly for Frankie Dottori in the all blue colours for Godolphin lovely pass in the second colours on the far side, Fahir by two legs and he's too strong and it's Fahir who wins and Frankie Dottori again heading down towards the final furlong now and it's the wow signal in la the front shows in front who in second position is Jungle Cat between the pair is Justice Good then comes War Envoy the near side the wow signal and Frankie Dottori they are in front and win, it's tied for second place by Theralga, the Silver colours the near side, snapshot sticking on and by Theralga has come through to lead under Frankie Dottori and the Great War is well beaten off now and by Theralga is starting to kick clear on the run to the line, also running on strongly is Mind of Madness into second place but by Theralga and Frankie Dottori win the Norfolk. Style show in front, O'Sailor second, Jellicoe ball in the pink jacket coming through into third position, touchline trying to get to them as well, drifting towards the near side is always Mr. Dean, then Faithful Creek, Don Camillo, 
Desenio making no impression, but time test in the hands of Frankie de Tori is going to ride his 51st Royal Ascot winner in clear cut fashion and wins for Roger Charlton. Time test has bolted up. Near side. Here goes Frankie on undrafted on the far side from a stare of music master. Undrafted. Brazen bow towards the near side, trying to peg him back. Undrafted wins the Diamond Jubilee. in front. She's as good as a reputation said she might be and Wesley Ward is going to have his seventh winner at Royal Ascot and Frankie Dottori salutes the crowd. A devastating win with less than a furlong to go. Shiraka is steaming home. So too pure dive of Diamond Fields but it is persuasive in front for Frankie Dottori chased by Shiraka and Diamond Fields but persuasive is going to win the Sandringham and give Dottori a double. Or in behind these with Houses of Parliament. Moore and Dottori as they race close home across the start on the near side of Beacon Rock, across the stars, doing enough, inching clear close home, and across the stars of Frankie. On the far side from Shine So Bright, but Calix is two or three lengths ahead. He's a hundred yards to go, and it's Calix in front. The others beginning to catch him, though, advertised, and Sergei Brigolfiov coming home strongly, but Calix won it. Him to win and Romanized down the centre. Well inside the last furlong, without parole, with a two-length lead. Gustav Kemp is closing, though, without parole, leading by Gustav Kemp is getting to it with every shy, but Frankie and with a parole of one. It's Monarchs Glenn who shot through into a length of lead here. Eugenio in second position, Leschlar closing fast down the centre, but Monarchs Glenn and Frankie Dottori win by a length and a half, maybe two. Eugenio in second, Muntar got third. Behind Stradivarius, the yellow cap for Zirabad in the green colours. Frankie Dottori on Stradivarius, Christoph Sumil on for Zirabad. Stradivarius is narrowly in front, he leads by a neck or so. Stradivarius has won the Gold Cup. Along Kimari in the green jacket being strongly pressed by Raffle Prize. There isn't going to be much in this. Raffle Prize on the near side of Kimari. Raffle Prize and Kimari in a tight finish to the Queen Mary. Zuckel has got within a length. Can she get past Crystal Ocean? Edging right, leaning off a true line. Magical is continuing to pest a bit. Crystal Ocean is doing enough and takes the Prince of Wales who stakes under Frankie. Come through to take it up inside the closing stages. Goes on to Ventura Rebel is moving through to second place to give chase. Ali is still in front. Ventura Rebel closing, but Ali just a Ventura Rebel. Well, but Sangorius has kicked two lengths clear of King Ottokar and then Fox Chairman up to the line. It's Frankie again at Royal Ascot and Sangorius wins the Hampton Court. Thatcher is in front, fleeting in the dark blue jacket, trying to get after her. She's a length and a half behind. They race towards the line. Star catcher, it is a hat trick for Frankie. Starcatcher has won, fleeting in second. Down the outside, but it's Stradivarius that leads again in the Gold Cup. This sensational stayer, master of reality, is rallying gamely. Frankie on fire, Stradivarius wins again. It's Frankie Dottori again at Royal Asgard. This time it's on Advertise in the Commonwealth Cup, and Advertise sticks it out and wins. And Frankie salutes the crowd again. Well, but frankly, darling, she's clear. Three length advantage now inside the last furlong. And Istimon in the light blue, James Doyle on the outside, trying to chase her down, but it's in vain. Frankly, darling, Frankie Dottori win. And Istimon in second. Immediate response, and he quickens right away from Nayef Road. Six lengths, eight lengths, he's going to be ten lengths. He's going to absolutely street them. The best player in the world, Stradivarius. Three Gold Cups clear of Dayef Road. Entering the final furlong and has kicked two lengths clear of Alunak and Elakem and Defoe and racing up towards the finish. It's another Royal Ascot win for Frankie de Torre, this time in the Hardwick on Fanny Logan. Near Sunset, Caroline Dale, and then from the back behind these is Happy Romance, but Campanelli has done it the hard way here and wins the Queen Mary. Some performance from stall one. Herring is staying on gamely down the outside, but the bird may have flown here. Alpine star Frankie de Torre for Jessica Harrington goes on to an impressive win in the Coronation Stakes. He's still attacking. Wichita is rallying on the far side. A three-way go in the St. Jason's Palace and Palace 
Palace Pier is getting up in the last few strides and Palace Pier wins. Giving chase in second and third places. It's a two length lead for Palace Pier. Races towards the line and Palace Pier is the winner of the Queen Anne. Lopi Fernandez in second. To the near side, Indy Angel. The near side over in the centre is Lady Bothorpe. Champers Elise chasing hard with Queen Power. It's Indy Angel and Frankie in front here. And Indy Angel has taken the Duke of Cambridge. It's along. They're drifting across to the far side. Dragon Symbol and Campanelli. They have it between them. Dragon Symbol on the near side. On the far side Campanelli trying to repeat last year's Queen Mary win she's digging deep Campanelli and Dragon Symbol and Spiral has come sweeping through to snatch the lead deep inside the furlong redemption day for Frankie in Spiral powering clear in Spiral inspired wins the coronation stakes piece and then circle of fire 150 yards to go Frankie driving away on Gregory still pestering St George Gregory finding plenty under the detour drive. Frills on turns with Coltrane. Corrosh, one of me and Coltrane will battle out the Gold Cup. Coltrane coming back for more on the inside. Corrosh, one of me though. Under Frankie just proving the stronger on the run for the line. And Corrosh, one of me. Under Frankie has won the Gold Cup. From Coltrane then subjectivist and Emily De very strongly and getting to Matrika. And Porta Fortuna has taken over here. Half a furlong to go. Frankie in front. Matrika is rallying. It's 80 winners and counting a Royal Ascot for Frankie. Oh, Coppice, Breeze Green Jacket challenging hard, Balalaika is also running on, Frankie nudging away, Coppice in front, Frankie on fire on his farewell, Coppice wins the Sandringham.